Hello and welcome back to Insights with Experts on the Academy of Metal Roof Innovations. We here at S5 get lots of different metal roofing questions of varying complexity, but sometimes it's good to go back to basics. And one of those topics is knowing what type of roofing profiles out there, how to work with them, and how to identify the type of profile on your roof if you don't know. Let's throw it over to Sean to tackle today's subject. Thanks, Pat. When it comes to different types of metal roofing profiles out there, it really comes down to two different categories, but there can be a lot of variety found in those. So let's talk about standing seam roofing profiles first. So with standing seam profiles, um, they're often used in, in commercial buildings, but I've also seen quite a bit of a trend moving towards residential. The difference with a standing seam metal roof is that it is a standing seam. It's usually folded, sometimes it's snapped. Uh, there's structural profiles, as well as ones that are designed to lay over a wood deck. Um, so you can see any combination thereof, as well as you know when it gets into it, the way that they're fastened to the roof, which we're gonna go into here in a second. When it comes to standing seam profiles, you'll see them all over. They're primarily, you'll find them in commercial construction, where the roof is kind of hidden and you really don't see it. You'll see, you'll see this type of profile that's more of a structural profile. Um, it's, it's stronger, but it's not as pretty. Um, you can also, when it comes to residential, you don't see a lot of residential, but it is trending. And the characteristics of all of these is generally that they, they have a standing seam and they're folded, um, either machine folded, or you'll see some that, that snap lock together, all different types of shapes like we mentioned before. When it comes to residential, they can be steep slope, and you can also see them in very low slope on commercial. Another thing about standing seam roofing is they have different clips that, that engage them to the structure. You have two different types of clips. You have a, a fixed clip that is just a one-piece clip, and then you have a clip that is a two-piece clip. And so it'll fix into the structure and allow the roof to float thermally above it. It gets folded into this seam as well as this seam. Oftentimes with this seam, this is the one that you'll generally see with, with just a one-piece clip screws into the deck or into the purlins below and it and it rides frictionally within that fold. Another type of standing seam roof out there are the snap together seams and a lot of those snap together seams they call them nail flange and what you'll find on a nail flange is hidden underneath here there's a, a piece of metal that comes out and it's got tabs cut into it or slots and there you'll go ahead and you'll run your, your fastener into those slots as opposed to using a clip. Then the next piece clips over it. You can't even see the fasteners. They're still hidden fasteners. It's still a standing seam. Hidden fastener roof. Another thing about these types of roofs is they come in, in different gauges. Um, you'll find primarily 22 gauge and 24 gauge. It, it really has to do with how strong your roof profile needs to be and, and what is specified or desired in that case. Um, with the 22 gauge obviously being much stronger. One of the benefits, the real benefits that is, is pretty obvious is the fact that there are no penetrations in a standing seam roof. Um, they're all concealed below the panel and, and so you really don't have a chance for leaks. Now that being said, um, it also, it requires a contractor that really knows what he's doing because in addition to just attaching the roof to the, to the structure, you've got all the trim details and things like that to think about and not you know, violating thermal movement and making sure your trim details can, can move with the roof, things like that. They all, you know, they float basically on top of your structure. So along with that, you know, when it comes to installing these roofs, I, I suppose you know, one thing that could be said about it is they do cost a little more to install. Um, and if you, if you do have any penetrations, you're, you're potentially voiding a warranty or having leaks. Um, so what you, what you run into is how do I put things up on this roof? You know, I need snow guards or I need an HVAC unit or signs or whatever it is. And, and that's where the S5 clamp really comes in and gives you a penetration free attachment. It's got round point set screws. It dimples the panel, grabs a hold, and it gives you a bolt hole. Um, so you can attach virtually anything that you would have attached to any other type roof with an S5 clamp. The next category that we want to discuss is exposed fastened roofing. You can find them 
all over. They're a little more affordable, they're a little easier to put on, so you see them on all different types of buildings. From residential buildings, to barns, to agricultural buildings. You don't see them on a lot of big commercial buildings, but in some instances, in some states, in some places, you will find them there as well. They're pretty easy to put down. They come in, again, they come in several gauges. With these, they, they even go down as low as 29 gauge, so you can, you can really see a wide variety of, of thicknesses in the metal and strength in the metal. They come in two primary kind of shapes. You have what we call a trapezoidal and then you have a rolled corrugated type profile. And you'll see small variations of these, but in general those are the two different shapes. The way these roof panels are attached is they're through fastened. And you'll find, you know, in, in some parts of the country they'll, they'll attach your fastener right here at the top. Um, in other parts of the country, it's down here low. So, and even different parts of the world. But the, the big thing about an exposed fastener roof is it has an exposed fastener. Got a rubber washer in the base of this screw and it's designed to last quite a while, but it's not gonna last as long as a standing seam roof. Like with the standing seam roofs, they can be put over a wood deck, they can be put over open purlins. Um, just depends on the situation you have and, and how it's been specced out or designed. Um, but they can go both ways there. So that will affect which type of screw you use, whether you're using a self-drilling or whether you use a wood screw. So some of the benefits of using these type profiles is, it, it, you know, it goes back to the installation and the labor. Um, they install quickly, easily. Uh, you do have, you know, like I said with, with standing seam roofing, you still need to have a good contractor that knows what he's doing because you will get leaks if you don't. Um, they have a lot of exposed fasteners, so there's a potential for a lot of leaks if they're not done properly. They can also tend to, when you're walking on these panels, you got to be careful not to crush this because it can, it can crush it down and then put a little pinhole in it where you can also get a leak. Um, but they really are, you know, metal roofs are great roofs and as long as they're done right, it doesn't matter which one, they can be a, a good long lasting roof. So of course your next question would be, I still got the stuff to attach to the top of this roof. So how am I going to do that? The answer is S5 has different brackets we can attach in the high and we use a bracket that's got the rubber in the base as well as fasteners that have the rubber so that you have a leak free attachment. We can attach to the top of the rib or we can, we can go down in the low and attach in the low where it's a more structural, more sealable attachment because you're going into the structure below there. You've got a good, good bite on it. And then even when it comes to the rolled corrugated, there's profiles of brackets that, that do the same thing. And we can again attach in the high or in the low using the same fasteners. While knowing the difference between standing seam and exposed fasten roofs may seem easy to identify on the surface, there's lots of variations in each of these profiles. You're going to want a secure connection when mounting ancillaries to your roof, so getting the correct product for your project is vitally important. If you need any help finding what's right for your roof, we've got your back. Just head on over to s5.com and check out our project configurator. Follow the steps there and you'll get the information you're looking for. Or you can use our fantastic customer service at support at s-5.com. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Insights with Experts. We hope you found this information helpful. If there's any other topics you'd like to see us cover, leave us a comment below and tell us what it is. We'll see you next time.